In this video, I'll show you the best free graphic design software. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like. And let's jump straight into this guide. Firstly, open up a web browser and go to a search engine. And now I'm gonna show you the first free graphic design software. And this first software is called Pixlr and it's an online based graphic design software. So type it in P-I-X-L-R just like so. Then you want to go to the official website, which is pixlr.com. And here we are. These three different options here, you've got quick and easy design and the advanced photo editor. I recommend sticking with these two mainly. So in this case, I'm gonna go and check out the advanced photo editor. You know, this has got more features and things like that. So tap start photo editing. Then you can either go and open up an image or go and create a new project, depending on what you want to do. Um, so in this case, I'm gonna go and create something new. Then as you can see, we go and get a few templates. You've got social posts, social story, um, and you've got a few others as well. For example, a thumbnail. In this case, I'm gonna go for thumb 720p and then go and tap on create. And here we are, we've now got a brand new blank canvas and we can literally get started. So I'm gonna show you the basics of this, but it's very similar if you use any tool like Photoshop or anything like that. But I'll go and show you the basics, so let's get into this. So the first thing you need to do is go and create a new layer. So come onto the right hand side and we can go and make a new empty layer just like so. And then you probably want to go and add a bit of a background. So I'm gonna go and use the gradient tool to do that. So press on gradient just like so, and then go and choose the colors you'd like to go and use. So I'm gonna go and do sort of a blue and yeah, a blue sort of gradient. So let me go and select the blue, just like that, and then go and tap OK. And then I'm gonna go and press on the black and go and change that to a lighter blue, just like so, uh, bang, just like that. Then all you then need to do is go and drag across, just like so, then let go, and we've now got a nice looking background. Now I'm gonna go and create another new layer, just like so, of text. So now I'm gonna go and customize this text and go and make something for Guide Realm. So I'm gonna go and type in Guide Realm, just like so just like that. Then I'm gonna go and change how this looks. I don't really like the font, so I double tap on that. And then you can go and tap on the font and we've got all these different fonts to go and choose from. Um, as you can see, there are so many to go and choose from. So in this case, I'm gonna use this one called Daddy Day, just like so, and there we go. Then I'm gonna go and tap on this tool here, the Arrange tool, just like that. And what I want to do is go and make this a bit bigger. So I'm gonna go and drag it up just like so. And there we go. And it's gonna go and sort of adjust everything for you to go and keep it looking good. And there we go. That's a simple looking banner I've got uncreated. Um, and there's so much more you can do with this. As you can see, we've got removing tools. You know, there's everything you can do in Photoshop. There are so many fantastic features in Pixlr, but now I want to go and show you the second software. So here we are back on Google. And the next software I want to show you is called PhotoP. So you type that in, P-H-O-T-O-P-E-A, just like so, and hit enter. Then go to the official website, which is photop.com, um, online photo editor, so tap here. Then as you can see, here we are, and then what you want to do is go and tap on new project, uh, and we can go and use templates, or you can go and create something fresh. So why not, I'm gonna go and test out a template in this video. So I'm gonna use this hello world here, so I'm gonna tap on that, double tap on it, and here it is, it's now gone and loaded. So once again, you can either go and start from scratch with this or use a template just like you can on Pixlr. Um, so let's go and edit this. So in this case, I might go and add some text like uh, Guide Realm or something like that just to go and customize it to the channel. I'll type in Guide Realm and then I'll go and press on the tick and then I'll go and change what a beautiful day to uh, the best tutorials on YouTube. And now I'm gonna go and add a new layer. So I'll just tap on that top text there and then go and press the new layer button just like so. And then I could go and do drawings. And you know, once again, you can do pretty much a lot of the features are the same in Photop and Pixlr, but I like to do both of them because I know not everyone's gonna go and get on with the same tools and tools do change throughout the year. So then of course I could do some drawing or you know, do anything you like just like that. And then if you don't like it, just do Control Z, um, or you could just go and delete the layer as well by right clicking on it and going and pressing on delete. And then in order to go and save this file, all you need to do is go to the top left and go and tap on file. And then you can go and do export as, and I could export it as the PNG file. I really like the look of that, then hit save. And then it's gonna automatically download it onto my computer. As you can see, here it is. It says guide round the best tutorials on YouTube and I can go and use it to the thumbnail or just as a background on my computer. But of course there are so many other templates and custom um, images we could go and use to go and create with this awesome piece of software. So guys, if you found this useful, please go down below and consider leaving a like. Peace.